hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to premier league predictions before we get started this video is sponsored by tear bear printing if you're looking for a cool shirt design or you want to design a shirt use tear bear the link will be down in the description below and if you use the word sport you'll get 10 percent off your order so guys you know where to go you know what to use and i'll put the discount code up on the screen as well but anyway guys you're only here for one reason and one reason only that's for the premier league predictions for week i think five we're in now i'm not quite sure but anyway guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's go so the first game is chelsea versus crystal palace chelsea being knocked out the efl cup you know by tottenham on penalties crystal palace do look slightly dangerous this season. Uh, uh, I probably won't say they're my underdogs, but I think they'll be a team to watch out for this season where they're going at this present in time. Chelsea, they're a bit hard to summon up from my perspective. As I said, they did get knocked out the EFL Cup or the Caramel Cup, we're supposed to call it, or the League Cup or whatever cup you want to call it. But yeah, so, but for this one, I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Crystal Palace win. My next one is Everton versus Brighton. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say I'm going to talk about this because I'm a Brighton supporter. I will talk about Tottenham one as well and, you know, basically saying my objective on that. But the Brighton-Manchester United game, 2-2, 99th minute, I think it was, and basically the referee bleeds full time. You heard him, basically. I mean, hopefully, most of you watched it. If you didn't, then obviously you were busy or whatever, but it should have been, you know, game over 2 2. But no, what did the VAR do? VAR saw a handball and basically, you know, said how it's a penalty. Right, that's fine. I've got, I've got no objectives with the penalty. The objective I've got is you blew the final whistle. What you are looking at now is going to destroy the game of football. I still like VAR. You can give me as much, you know, whatever what you want for that. But the Premier League have got to look at these rules and go, these ain't working. That rule actually undermined FIFA, and I know when I read it, it's quite a few years back, but you're underestimating it. You, you've basically broken the rule of FIFA, which is one of the highest football government bodies in the world. I think they're the second behind the IFAB, I think they're called. And you under, you cannot do that. If you blow the full time whistle, that's it. That's the game. It's not rugby, it's not anything else, you know. But, I'm so frustrated with that. As I said, I will talk about it when we get down to Tottenham about their handball as well. But I'm so frustrated with that goal and that penalty at the beginning. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes under investigation, put it that way, because if this is the case, what you're looking at, let's say for the example Chelsea Palace, Chelsea are 2 1 down, 90th minute, 2 1 down, got a corner. They whip it in the Palace box. All it's got to do is hit the pla pla uh, Crystal Palace player's arm and they get a penalty. That's what every club's going to look for if this handball will don't be changed. And with Steve Bruce, it is wrecking the game, but it's not down to the VAR itself. VAR, perfect job. We need really, really big step up by the FA, by everyone who's in control of the match officials from where I'm standing. I'm just so frustrated that penalty was given. If it's not investigated, then I can see football being destroyed over the part over the next five years. Even if we get that far, yeah, obviously due to the pandemic, what's going on, it might not even get that far. We need to get back in the stadium as soon as possible. As far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a one 0 Brighton win. My next one is Leeds United versus Manchester City. Leagues are running up, beating Sheffield United. 
Man City didn't have the best of ways today. I think they lost 5 2 to Leicester, 5 2, 6 2, something like that. Yeah, it didn't go Man City's way. And to make it worse, it was at the Hetty Hat Stadium. Leagues are obviously on the up, as I've just said. I know a lot of, you know, I get a bit of banter from Leagues fans, and obviously what I'm doing is obviously what I'm getting in. You know, please keep it coming. I don't mind a bit of banter between you guys and me, you know, it makes makes it more interested, especially when I hear your perspectives. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to stick up for Leagues to win this one. Leagues, do not let me down. And I'll go for a 2-0 Leagues win. My next one is Newcastle versus Burnley. Newcastle are really, you know, finding their feet. I can't quite remember how I got on the previous weekend, nor can I remember Burnley. But, you really, I think this game is going to be so tight. I think it's going to be boring. I think it's going to be centre play most of the way. And I'll go for a 0 nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus West Ham United. Leicester beat Manchester City 5-2. What West Ham done was... Unbelievable in the football world. They took Wolverhampton to the London Stadium. I think they beat them 4 0. I could be wrong. It might be 3 or 4. I can't quite remember. But what West Ham done there was unbelievable. Fair play, West Ham. But I still reckon Leicester will win this weekend. And I'll go, go for a 2 0 Leicester win. My next one is Southampton versus West Bromwich Albion. West Bromwich Albion, you know, I think they went 3 0 up against Chelsea and came came back and well Chelsea came back and 3 3. Yeah, I can't really see this one going West Brom's way either, but I can't see that go Southampton's way. I'll go for another boring game, but I'll go for a goal for each side, so that makes it a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Arsenal versus Sheffield United. Arsenal, I don't know quite how to sum them up at this present enough. They had their good weeks and then they have their bad weeks. But, you know, it's one of them things, I think. Where do I call this one? I think I'm going to call this one a Sheffield United win. And just about, I, but I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Fulham. Fulham has not had the best of time in the Premier League so far. Losing to Leagues, losing to Arsenal. No, I think this is week four, not five. But anyway, um, I can only call this game one way. And I'll go for a 3-0 Wolverhampton win. My next one is Manchester United versus Tottenham. Man United... As I said, picked up at three points at the MX Stadium. Obviously, Man United and Brighton are playing in the Cup as I'm recording this. But, do I think Tottenham be able to override United? I don't think. I think it's going to be a plain draw. And I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My last one is Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Aston Villa doing their thing. Simon Sparkley on loan from Chelsea. Liverpool don't look that comfortable either, if I'm all honest. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool win. But anyway, guys, uh, just let you know, my FIFA series will be starting on... It'll be up sometime next week. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.